The CECC has loosened its rapid test requirements for people undergoing home quarantine or isolation. Starting Wednesday, only one rapid test is required during the 10-day quarantine or isolation period instead of four or five. Also on Wednesday, Taipei City expanded its home isolation program for mild COVID patients to all 12 of its administrative districts. Call after call comes into the care center. On Wednesday, Taipei City expanded its home isolation program to all 12 of its administrative districts. Snacks, instant noodles and rapid tests are all part of the care package provided to COVID patients. When patients need medical attention, a virtual hospital provides video consults and medication delivery services. When you feel discomfort and it's an emergency, you can call 119. If you need general medical assistance for a slight discomfort, you can contact the Taipei City Hospital System for a video consult. In addition, Taipei has set protocols for garbage disposal. The city has contracted a private company to collect each patient's garbage for up to two times in 10 days. According to the head of Taipei City Hospital, the COVID wave will result in 23,000 severe cases across the country, 2,600 of which will be in Taipei. If Taipei gets just 50 severely ill patients a day, its medical system would become overwhelmed, according to the hospital chief. The mayor has a full grasp of the epidemic's developments and all the relevant needs, including the hospital capacity requirements. There's no need to worry about this. Right now, we're basically taking the workload of the health department's disease control unit and distributing that across all 12 districts. We're further integrating the work of disease prevention with local administrators. Geelong City has also launched a home isolation program with personnel across a range of departments. All cities and counties must launch their own programs within six days. In related news, the CECC has loosened the rapid test requirements for people in home quarantine or home isolation. Instead of taking a rapid test four or five times over 10 days, individuals now need only to test once, just before their release. The CECC said the policy will be adjusted on a rolling basis.